Hi guys, welcome to third grade, chapter eight, lesson five. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So all we're doing is labeling a number line, basically, okay? But this, our denominator on all of these is going to be a four because there are four equal parts, okay? So right here at the very starting line, zero out of four, okay? Once we get here, it's one out of four, two out of four, three out of four, and then all four out of four, okay? So we're gonna write the fraction that names the point, okay? So on A, so right here, A, okay? Well, we have one eighth and three eighths. Well, in between that, we know our denominator is gonna be eight on all of these, no matter what, okay? All of them are eighths. Okay, now in between one and three, there's two. It's pretty easy, guys. On B, in between four and six, five. Okay, C, see if you guys can do C on your own. Okay, we're going to go down and do number six. It says Jada ran six times around her neighborhood to complete a total of one mile. How many times will she need to run to complete five sixths of a mile? So six times is one mile. So six out of six is one mile, okay? So how many times did she have to run to do five, five sixths of a mile? That's just five times. Okay, that would mean that she did one six, two six, three six, four six, five six, and six six, okay? And they wanna know how many times to run five six of a mile. Well, that's one, two, three, four, five, done, okay? A missing fraction on a number line is located exactly halfway between three six and five six. Well, we know the denominator is gonna stay the same. That doesn't change, okay? What number's in between three and five? Four, done. All right, let's go into the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always. Okay, and we're gonna go down and do the spiral review. Each table in a cafeteria can seat 10 students. How many tables are needed to seat 40 students? So, 40 students, 10 at each table. How many times does 10 go into 40? Well, 10, 20, 30, 40, that's four. Four tables. Okay, all right, complete the number sentence to show an example of the commutative property. So when you do the commutative property, it's just changing the order of the numbers around. So you still have the same number. So instead of four times nine, I'm gonna put nine times four equals 36, okay? Pedro shaded part of a circle, what part did he, okay, so I know that it's really tough for you guys to see this. So I'm gonna go ahead and color this in. So it's really tough for you guys to see that because I have a photocopy. So anyways, how many pieces are there all together? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces all together, so that's our denominator, okay? Seven of those are filled in. That's it, guys, okay? Last one, all right? We have eight divided by one. Anytime that you have a number divided by one, it is the other number. That's it. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 8.5. Come on back for 8.6. See you soon.